Hi everybody, I'm back with your Forever Matters update. My name is Aiden O'Hare and I just want a quick thank you to Gary and Nick that took over while I was taking a little rest. No, I wasn't actually. I've just got back from a European trip. We started off in Germany. Oh man, it was beautiful to be back in Munich. And we got to open officially the brand new office there. What a beautiful place to work. And what a great place for the Forever FBOs to uh, build their business from. I loved it there. After that, we uh, jumped right over to, in fact, hold on a minute, I just remembered something. The airline lost my luggage too, so I was in Germany with no luggage and got to do a little bit of shopping there. From there, we jumped over to England and made my way back home to beautiful England. In fact, it was the hottest day on record, if, they, if, uh, if I remember that rightly. We went to the beautiful manor we have there, sat down with some leaders and had a great discussion about what they're going through, how it feels to get back to business. After which, we went out to Coventry the next day. Funny enough, beautiful on Friday, pouring down with rain on Saturday, but it, oh man, it was great inside. We packed out. Uh, this room there, oh, I don't know the exact number, but I know there was, wasn't one seat available. It was wonderful to be there. It felt just like a family reuni reunion and great to catch up with some great friends and um, thank you to all of you for being great hosts. After that, flew across to Scandinavia. Again, beautiful home office there. It was great to spend some time with our staff, our FBOs, and really catch up and learn a little bit about what they've been going through over the last couple of years that we've been apart. We met with the Forever Key Club where we discussed the challenges of the past and the opportunities for the future. But something I absolutely loved, when we'd done meeting, we'd done discussing, done talking, all of the FBOs, we jumped onto these fast uh, boat rides and we went through the, um, the archipelago there in Gothenburg. It was amazing. And it was late at night, but the sun hadn't gone down. What a brilliant evening it was to spend with our FBOs and really sit down and discuss what it's like to get your business back up and running as we get out of that COVID experience. Fantastic. So what did I learn on my trips? What are my takeaways from that quick trip? Well, the first thing is the FBOs are super excited to get back to work and I'm sure that all of you have felt that way too. Our staff are committed, knowledgeable and dedicated. And that was great to be with them and to see what they've been through. And I was so grateful for the, not only the staff in those countries, but our staff throughout the world. And if I've been honest with you, there's a little bit of lack of confidence in everyone, including me, and our ability to sort of step up and get back to work. But we've got to fight against this and prepare to make those calls, share those products, and keep pushing things forward. Now, I wasn't the only one that was traveling. Greg and Garen have just been over to Brazil, and they're celebrating their growth and the successes that the successes they've had there. In fact, they had a sold-out success day. Now, we're not done traveling, because coming up, Greg and I will be heading over to Singapore, Malaysia, and Japan in August to catch up with our staff and FBOs there. It's gonna be exciting to be back in Asia again. It seems like ages since we've had the chance to travel over there. Recently, we've been seeing, as a result of our FBOs coming back together, slowly the energy and business is starting to pick up and it's wonderful to see, I'm so excited about it. All across the globe, I'd like to congratulate India for having a 14% increase in sales in May and a 19% increase over in June over June of last year. That's really incredible. Keep up the excellent work, all of you guys, and, and I'm looking forward to soon be coming back over to India. Maybe, hopefully, some of us will be getting back over to see you. Now let's head over to the Philippines. They've just had a very successful manager retreat in Boracay a couple of weeks ago. A total of 14 FBOs got together to renew their energy and plan for the second half of this year. Now Nick is also down in Cancun today checking out hotels and venues for our EMR celebration. I know he's excited. I spoke to him this morning. He's telling me that everything is looking fantastic for you to join us there in October. And we look forward to seeing all of you who qualify. Don't forget, Eagle Manager 2023 is ongoing uh, with those brand new rules and we expect many of you to qualify, especially all of you soaring managers and above. Now that reminds me, Bali is just around the corner, so don't forget, check your case credits. And while you're there, when was the last time you thought about our very generous car plan? Just a little plug there for an excellent way for you to get a new car. Now remember, not everyone qualifies. It's not easy to qualify for car plan. This is not a get rich quit scheme. This is not an easy way to do business, but it's a generous opportunity for you to, if you work hard and do it right, it's incredible what you can achieve. And now it's time for our top 10 list. We started that just recently and we're adding more recognitions as we move forward with our forever updates. Now, I'd like to share the FBOs with the biggest, what we call open business, that's personal and non-manager non business for the month of June.
Congratulations, Kutar Taiju, for being our number one personal and non-manager leader throughout the world for the month of June. And she's from the Benelux. And you remember, she was also a great speaker at the Global Rally in Abu Dhabi. Congratulations, Kutar. But let's not stop there. Let's also take a look at who is our top 10 global group volume businesses. Well done to all of you. That's fantastic, you made the top 10 list globally. Don't stop now, keep pushing, and we'll add your name to the list as soon as you make it into that top 10. Congratulations to Rolf Kip for again leading the world and being the number one FBO throughout all of um, the world <laughs> in, in June. So congratulations to you all. Now a quick heads up, a lot of you have been asking about us doing business in Pakistan. Currently, we do not have any plans to be doing business in Pakistan. And I know that's disappointing. I know that you don't want to hear that. But unfortunately, it's just not the right time for us as a company to expand our operations there. I'm not saying that's forever, but currently we're not doing business in Pakistan and we don't have plans to do so. Sorry about that bad news. So now we have some great news, and that is to do with our Hopes and Homes campaign. You remember we you got united to help the, uh, the children in Ukraine out, and we wanted to raise $100,000? It was a close one, and we just tallied up all of the donations made to the Rex Morn Forever Giving Foundation in support of that Hope and Homes for Children, and in doing so, we're protecting over 100,000 children housed in Ukrainian orphanages currently. I'm so excited to tell you we did surpass 100,000. We did do it. We actually made it to $116,157. Donations from each one of you and all of your efforts for, you, for those of you that got out of bed and you ran and you walked and you talked and you swam and all those things you did to raise money for the union race. Congratulations, thank you, we did it. And all of that money will be donated over to Hope and Homes in Ukraine to help those 100,000 kids that are in those orphanages currently. Now to find out a little bit more about what what your money is doing in Ukraine, watch for the next release of the Living Forever magazine to read all about this effort and how the Hope and Homes for Children will make good use of this money. Thanks again. Thank you so, so, so much for being so generous for your time and your talents and efforts. Congratulations to each one of you. Well, that's it for this episode of Forever Matters. Look for our new update in a couple of weeks. Until then, keep focused on what matters most to you and I hope to see you all real soon.